Okay, so we've seen how to add images to our Merch by Amazon design here in Over, but we're going to get rid of this layer, and I want to show you how to add text. So to get rid of this, you see this icon up here at the top? This is the layers. Now, I could move these around if there were more than one layer, but we're just going to delete this layer and go back to the, uh, the blank canvas, and we're going to add some text. Okay, so we touch text down at the bottom, those little A's, and we're going to double tap to edit the text. So let's call this an awesome test okay and we're gonna say done and it gives us all these different fonts that we can use here and let's see we got this one here you just kind of scroll through them and try to find something that you like now in a later video I'm going to show you how to import additional fonts so for this one well, let's find something cool I don't really like that one this one's not too bad. Okay, so say we want to use this one. And of course, you can pinch and zoom to make it big. You can even twist it and turn it. It's going to like auto size so it doesn't fit. It's going to kind of you know, make it fit for you. And it's still going to have the centering. So if you want to make sure you're centered up and down, as well as centered in the middle of the design, those yellow lines are going to help you with that. And after we pick the font, let's choose style. Okay, so we can put it all the way over at the left. We can justify it, of course, with only two words, it's not going to make a lot of sense, all the way over at the right, or just kind of center it. I do really like this feature where you can change the spacing. Uh, so if you want to put the letters closer together or spread them out to kind of make it fit with your design, that's a really cool feature, which at least I haven't figured out how to do it very easily in, uh, in Photoshop. You can do caps, so you can do all caps, or you can do small caps, like capital uh, for the first letter, and then smaller capitals after or title case, which is you know, in capital letters. This really is a font that uh, that has its title case anyway. Uh, but curve is the one I think you guys are going to find the most useful because I think it just it applies itself very frequently to Merch by Amazon design. So you can see the convex and concave shapes. Of course, we're at zero right now. But if we go each way on this on the little slider here, it's going to curve it for us. Uh, and of course, I don't want to go off the edge there, so I'm going to zoom it in a little bit and make sure it's centered. And you can see they're putting that little curve in it. I don't really like it. It looks like it's kind of over to the right a little bit, even with that yellow line. So we'll kind of eyeball it here and make sure that it's in the middle. And uh, and that's it. That's how easy it is to put in some text, move it, and, uh, and put a little curve on it. Now we can change the color as well. We can do pretty much any color that we want. If you had something else on the page here, uh, you could use this little dot down here to match. Okay, so of course there's, there's nothing else here, but if you had a color that you really wanted to match, you can match it pixel for pixel right here by using this, this feature. So let's go back and uh, find a different color. So say we want to make it in purple, uh, we can do that. The size, of course you can just pinch and zoom to get the size, but I do like this. So you can really nail it down and be very uh, fine-tuned with the exact size that you want. I think shadow really helps it. Uh, you put a little angle on it. Now it's it's really sharp when you do this, so I do recommend uh, putting a little bit of a blur on it. Now of course here, up, down, left, and right, you can change where that shadow is. And if we put a blur on it, you're gonna see how it kind of blends in. And I think you're gonna get a nice little layer effect uh, by blurring it. You don't really wanna blur it too much. You know, kinda, you know, use your best judgment of how much you need to blur it this way. And uh, you can change the color of the blur. You can get a little bit of a kind of a psychedelic effect if you use the right colors together. And I'm not a color master or anything. Uh, let's see if we take the blur down a little bit. You can kind of see how you can get a little two-color action here. You can experiment with different colors, what looks best on, uh, on your shirts. And uh, then the opacity as well, so you can really kind of make it Make it a little harder or a little softer, and, uh, and play with it. Just kind of you know, get a feel for what what you think looks good, and uh, and then of course get some feedback from other people. You've got a little network of, of people that you can get feedback from. Uh, if you don't have anyone like that, I highly recommend reaching out to people on Facebook and maybe finding some people for that. Uh, so you can change the opacity here. You can make it fade in uh, to your design depending on what you're using it for. You can rotate again. I like this because it does give you that really fine tune, uh, you know, degree 
Uh, but we're just going to leave it at zero well, for now. We can flip it. Of course, I'm not sure when you would use this a flip. Maybe if you're designing for a, a different site that, that requires a flip, uh, maybe. Of course, you can nudge, which is a nice little feature where you can really be precise about where this is on, uh, on the template here. And you've got some mask and blending options, which would make a little more sense if we had different layers on here. Uh, so that's how to add text. And uh, if we had an image on here, you would see it here in the, uh, in the layers, and you would be able to move it and, uh, and reorganize those layers so you have the right layer on top of the other layers if they're overlapping. So keep that in mind as you start adding additional layers to your, uh, to your designs. And that's it. You can say done. And of course, you could add more text and more text depending on what type of design uh, you are doing. So I hope this helps you uh, kind of add the first first line of text to your shirts. You may see this and be like, oh, I can't do that. Well, you really can. It really is quite easy. So add that text. Play around with it. You can't hurt anything. Change the color. Change the curve. Change the font. Change the uh, the shadow. Change the blur. Change all these things and see how it looks. And uh, over time, you're going to get better at it. The first time is going to be the worst time, I promise. But uh, you can only go up from there. So I hope that gives you a little bit of confidence to add text to your Merch by Amazon designs using the Over app.